Um, so with, with the advent of digital um, technologies and the move of much um, public debate online into uh, the internet and social media, um, a number of questions which will have um, traditionally been asked of the mainstream media or of newspapers um, have different dimensions once transposed into the new context. So for example, in the area of defamation, um, we've seen uh, much commentary which would previously have um, been somewhat ethereal. Um, it would have been comments uh, or allegations aired, issued, and then disappearing into the ether. Um, you see those ideas taking on a, a permanent form. Um, this is low value speech, um, and, uh, but has become speech which is available and can be reviewed and assessed, and uh, its impact upon reputations can be different in character to what, to what might have been uh, the position in the past. In addition, uh, what we've seen is the um, advent of a, a range of new gatekeepers and intermediaries who um, online or in social media have a role in the publication and dissemination of speech that wouldn't often previously have been the case. So the concern might be that um, platform intermediaries will be too ready to take down speech um, without reference to its merits, um, ultimately to minimise their own legal risk um, and irrespective of the value of what has been published. If we think about the news gathering um, side of my interests, then the advent of new technologies again raises an array of different questions which have to be asked uh, and answered afresh. Um, for example, um, the law over time has developed an array of legal protections for sources, um, people to whom journalists will turn for information, but who might for their own reasons wish to remain confidential. Um, so the law has developed protections for such people, um, but with the advent of new technologies and the opportunity um, that they afford for uh, wealthy interests or state interests to surveil um, practice. Um, the concern would be that those legal protections um, become worthless in the face of the uh, possibility that uh, government or other actors might simply be able to um, determine by other devices whom a journalist has been speaking to. Okay, so in, in, in some respects then this is uh, old wine and new bottles. But the basic point is that if we don't pay attention to the underpinning context within which journalism and free speech um, takes place, um, we may uh, obviate the possibility for a fully functioning public sphere going forward into the future.